This is the site of a future indoor recreation practice facility that is to begin its formation this May. Set for the corner of 15th and Montgomery, the new facility will feature an indoor football field in its center, surrounded by recreation facilities and classroom space. Besides athletics, there is one Temple School in particular that will greatly benefit from this project. I sat down with the Dean of the College of Public Health, Laura Semenoff, as she explained how critical this facility is to CPH academics. And for anybody who's ever relied on a physical therapist, occupational therapist, or ever gone to an athletic trainer, you know you want those people to be really well trained. And part of that is providing them with the equipment in the space. Dean Semenoff is referring to the fact that many students in her program currently have to travel to the Health and Sciences campus to share space with other colleges for lab work. The College of Public Health has paid over $8 million in order to secure classroom space in this building. But with stadium controversy still at large, many students have mixed reviews about the idea of a new facility. I hope to do some other updates around uh, here, just beside the sports team, get both uh, stadium and the I think we do lack a lot of facilities for people to practice for sports and if the stadium does get approved, I think it is nice to have an indoor facility. But Dean Semenoff was sure to stress the need for this facility and wants everyone to see it as its own entity. So it has really nothing to do with the stadium and hopefully students will be excited about this because it really is going to elevate um, several of our programs. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Alexis Johnson.